That's what the word said. Y'all don't get mad with me. Just, it, it, it's in the word. But get a job. Work. Work with your hands. The things which is good. That he may give to somebody else that has a need. And I was doing this research and it was saying, you know, and I, I guess I had to say I'll see. You know, it was saying that, you know, uh, they talked about hoarding when I was doing some of the research. And so I know, I, I confess this, where is Mr. Taylor? I have plenty of shoes. I have plenty of shoes. And so, you know, um, sometimes I'm looking and I say, Lord, have mercy, I got more shoes than feet. And so, but anyway, it talked about hoarding, how sometimes we hoard, and they were saying that it's a sin when you hoard strictly because somebody else has a need and you're hoarding things. And so, so one, of, one of the things I think we need to learn how to do is really give to other people. And so, you know, he was saying that, you know, when it comes to us, this is mine, I work for it, let them get a job, and that's it. Okay, fine, but everybody, get, you know, there are people that really can't work. Now, there are some that can work and won't work and wait for social services to take care of them. Now, say ouch and keep on going. Listen, when I lived in New York, this is really the truth, and I'm just going to be very honest, there were young women that kept having babies just to get $25 more on their welfare check. I know nobody don't do that here. And then go down to social services and fight them and say, give me my money. And have never worked a day in their lives. Oh yeah, we're going to talk, church. We're going to talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I need to talk because I'm telling you, God is pushing me here now. And so he says, work. And then he says, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. But that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearer. And then it goes down to the last few. Are you with me? I know this, I know this, I know. This is not, you know, you're going to be blessed and you're going to get a car and you're going to get a house. You're going to get all that. I know. But he said, there's some, you've got to put on the new man. You've got to put on righteousness. You talk about it, but put it on and put it in you. For he says, in conclusion, he says, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Come on, church, new mind, new man. Change your thinking, thinking. Get your mind on Christ and walk in righteousness. He said, put away bitterness. Put away the past. Put away wrath. Put away anger. Put away evil speaking. Put away malice. Be kind to one another. Be tender hearted to one another. Forgiving one another. Maybe I didn't treat you right on yesterday. Forgive me. Be willing to say I'm sorry. Be willing to straighten out things. Be willing to straighten out your path. New mind, new man. Stop the thinking, thinking. If you think right, your behavior can't become right. Take up the old man. Some are still walking in old ways. Some are still walking in old habits. Some are still doing the same old things. Some are still walking the same old traps. Some are going down the same old path, trying to put on the new man. I've come to tell you, he said, put off that old man, for that old man is alienated from God. That old man doesn't understand the principles of salvation. Put off that old man and put on the new man which Christ paid the price for you to walk in the newness of life. How many of you are walking in the newness of life? Praise be 
God. I didn't see too many hands go up. Come on, wake up, wake up, wake up. Come on, wake up. <laughs> Grieve not the Holy Spirit. You don't think the Spirit is grieved? Keep on watching. Things are happening to the body of Christ. For he said, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. I don't want him grieved with me. And I don't want to have to deal with the consequences of your action. I want to live right. For he holds me accountable for what you get, what you're thinking, how you live. He holds me accountable as I try to feed you the word of God. Change your mind and you'll change your direction. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. Stop that thinking, thinking. So he says we're likened unto a new man. And so since we are one body and we have one Lord, you know, and since we, you know, that one baptism, we've gone in the water and we've taken on the liquid grave, we came up walking in the newness of life. And it is said that there were two words in the English uh, for new. One of them was neos, N-E-O-S. And it says that neos is when you make something new that has already been made before. It's still new, but it's been made before. And there was another one said, that says kinos. And what that was when something is made one time and made new. And so there's no replica of it. And so when he talked about, and that's the one that Jesus was talking about, or the apostle was talking about, that, that, that this kenos, in other words, we're supposed to be brand new. Now, I know I look the same somewhat when I was born, a little older. But, but, but that newness should have taken place on the inside of me, the new man, not the same Mary Jackson, but, but the new person. So, 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 so that newness, that one time for me, he made me a new person. And so, new mind, new man. If you're not if, if, if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing as a believer, now I know everybody isn't believers in here, so I know that. Or maybe you believe and you don't profess. And so there are many other illustrations as well. Or maybe you're halfway in Christ and halfway out of Christ. Or maybe you're backslidden. Or, or, or there, there are various. Okay. But if you been made new, then you are to start putting off that old man. You, you need to start putting it off. Your habits and whatever, you know, that, that's the whole pur purpose of becoming the new man. So change your mind and change your direction. New mind. church, hear me. Hear me. He said, walk word, loneliness, loneliness, meekness, love. The way has already been designed for us. Now all we have to do is prepare ourselves to walk in this core. 